In today's video, we're going to be taking two massive RC warbirds and putting them to battle in the sky. Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test. Today we have a special day because we are finally ready to launch our Mini Zero and our Mini Corsair. Now if you guys have been watching our past couple videos here, we went ahead and took both the designs, supersized them, and we're getting ready for an epic battle. But the weather's beautiful. Yep. We're going to put these things up in the air, have a little fun. Then we're going to get to painting and finish off these monsters. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ready? Yep. <laughs> so I'm gonna cheat a little bit and shameless plug at the same time. I have the FT Aura 5, which has something called launch assist. All I have to do is put it in launch assist mode. I'm gonna take it. Whoa! And we're good to go! <laughs> All right, buddy, let's have a fun battle here. Oh wait, no, that's later, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, 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 don't crash. These, <laughs> don't. these are nice ones. <laughs> <laughs> these ones we need to stick around for a little bit. So this this airplane, or actually both these airplanes, were kind of designed in collaboration with our good friend John Overstreet. And John has really, you guys, a lot of you guys probably know, but he's really kind of been pushing the limits of what you can do with foam board. Yeah, John's amazing. He has a background in metalworking, so he knows how to like kind of form foam and form metal. So what we're doing is we're taking the, all the cool techniques from the Master Series, which is molding planes together, and then we're taking the simplicity of our swappable series, which is folding, we're putting them together for a real easy build, awesome mini series that looks good, but still builds in as little as three hours. You know, I like how you're just chilling, you know, upside down. It's stable. <laughs> Here, I'll do a little pass inverted. <laughs> So what we're doing today is like Josh mentioned earlier, we built massive sized versions of these designs, both the Zero and the Corsair, and we're gonna be putting them into an aerial battle, which is gonna be uh, interesting to say the least. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're just huge, tubby, big, slow, monstrous airplanes, and that's just so cool because you kind of get to savor the flight a lot more. I'm gonna go vertical. I'm on you. That's not even full throttle. Yeah, you guys are definitely fast. Like, I honestly, I've chased both the, these tiny ones and the big ones. I think these ones are actually faster than the big ones. One really cool thing about these Mighty Minis, too, is they can also go up to four cell on these. You just gotta go down one inch diameter in your prop, you can have a pretty awesome experience. I feel like the rigidity to weight ratio on planes this size, specifically planes made out of foam board, is just extra durable. You can really kind of cartwheel these things and they really take a good beating, um, and, you know, while still remaining airworthy. Whoa, speaking of which, I almost just <laughs> ran right into you. You know, you could put us up in a combat and we'll never hit each other, but by golly, you just put two airplanes in the air in a drone and uh, it's all over. You no, know, I'll try to form up on you. Okay. Oops. Wrong way, I'm sorry. You can go up higher if it's... <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> What is it with these planes in mid-air? Is it still in the air? <laughs> it is, <laughs> yeah! No pun intended, you are crushing it! <laughs> oh my god. Well, that's what I was saying about the rigidity to weight factor. <laughs> These things really take a beating. There you go. Look at that, it's still flying great. Whether you like it or not, right? It's honestly a great testament to like how durable these are and how forgiving they are, both in your build quality, but also if you if you, if you mess it up a little bit, it still flies. And what a fun way to demonstrate that too. <laughs> Sorry about that, man. No, we're good. We literally just built it. And it also has our, uh, our new sticker sheet on it with those stickers that you see, the decals that you see on there, are actually gonna be coming with the kit. And this was one of the first prototype planes with the stickers on it. We got like three sticker sheets. It was the most beautiful uh, mini Corsair that we've made yet. And I ruined it. I feel it's all bad. good, man. Now you signed it. That's what we'll call it from now on. mid are just signing another person's plane. Yeah, really cool vision with this here. It's it's fun to build DIY airplanes, but oftentimes, especially with these minis, you know, the details, especially like with the emblems and insignias and stuff, they're really hard to do. So what we're doing is we're doing a decal sheet that's gonna be included with every speed build kit. And that way, all you need to do is scuff it, paint it, and put the decals on. You're gonna have a plane that looks good and flies great. Oh, that's the end of my battery. For real this time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll bring mine in for landing. All right, coming in hot. <laughs> Your turn, Noah. Oh, I'm coming in. Just gonna try to land right on top of you. You gonna try to hit me? No. Ha! 
<laughs> He's like, no, my plane's still perfect. <laughs> my, I just want to land close to me. There you go. All right, so we got a lot of work here. You actually have to repair the Zero from that crazy crash that you had earlier. Right? Yeah, so he has to repair the Zero. I got to paint the Corsair. We got to put FPV gear on it. Yeah, we got to battle. We got to battle. Let's do it. All right, so the good news is, is before we have this epic battle, we don't actually have too much work to do. Mainly what we have to do is we have to paint this Corsair to make it look like a classic Warbird. So Noah has been busy scuffing up the plane to make it accept the paint better, and him and his dad actually went to our new manufacturing building, and they're gonna be putting a awesome coat on this plane. They're going with the classic dark navy blue that you see on a lot of the Corsairs. So I have no doubt that this is gonna look awesome. And so while they're out there taking care of that, I figured it was a good time to tell you about our sponsor of this video, and that is Curiosity Stream. So if you aren't familiar with Curiosity Stream, Curiosity Stream is basically smart TV for your smart TV. In other words, it's a streaming platform where you can watch all kinds of amazing content, similar to a lot of other popular streaming platforms that are out on the market. Good news about this one is it's significantly cheaper. The cool thing about Curiosity Stream is it has thousands of streamable documentaries and nonfiction TV shows on topics like history, nature, science, food, technology, travel, and much, much more. Me personally, you guys know that we love aviation, so I've been watching a lot of their aviation documentaries. Specifically, one of the ones that I watched recently is Space Dive, which is an awesome documentary about Felix Baumgartner's dive from the edge of space, skydiving all the way to the Earth, which is just crazy if you think about it. Beyond that, Curiosity Stream also features 35 collections of curated programs handpicked by their experts. And the coolest thing about this is you can stream this from any device, so you can watch award-winning exclusives and originals anytime, anywhere. So here's the craziest thing about Curiosity Stream is its price. It's extremely less expensive than all of its competitors. And if you use our coupon code, you can actually get Curiosity Stream for an entire year for $14.99. Again, that's flight test is the coupon code, and we'll put links down below, and you can get Curiosity Stream for an entire year for $14.99. So huge shout out to Curiosity Stream for sponsoring this battle between this huge Corsair and the Zero. And speaking of which, let's go check out and see how it's coming. Still on there. <laughs> That's a whole lot of plane and a whole lot of truck. Look at that. A whole lot of plane and a little bit of truck. A little bit of teddy bear. Just uh. <laughs> You're gonna, Josh, you're gonna need your shady rays today, eh? Yes. Woo. Nice and pumping. sunny. It is sunny. So so these are balanced right around 30 to 35%, depending on uh, whether it's the Corsair or the uh, or the Zero here. And typically when we do our first flights, we're balanced around 30% of the main wing cord. So we're right on that iffy section. But the nice thing is we do have an oar in it, which means that's gonna help us out a lot. And uh, I mean, the plane is just a remarkably stable, light-loaded wing airplane. So basically the way it's gonna work is we're gonna be dogfighting these World War II Warbirds, but instead of using actual guns like they used in World War II, we're gonna be doing a streamer combat. So the idea is each of them is going to have a long streamer, blue and red, and they're going to be aerobatically uh, dancing in the sky, trying to cut each other's streamer. The person with the shortest streamer that comes back is the loser person with the longest streamer is the winner. We've loaded them to the brim with all kinds of technology, specifically FPV technology. So these guys are gonna be flying, actually not even from the cockpit, they're, they put the cameras on the tail. So they're gonna be able to, it's like gonna be like a video game. They're gonna be able to see their whole plane while they're flying. And so we have 360 cams, FPV gear. But the troubling part is, is that camera gear weighs a lot. These planes flew beautifully, but since then we've loaded them up with every cool camera angle and every cool item on there. And we went to the way irresponsible side. Everything's back <laughs> on the tail. And we haven't test flown it because I mean, if we test flown it goes badly, we want it to be captured, right? Yeah. And uh, we're just gonna kind of send it now. You know, if this is a real airplane or you know something that wasn't built in three days, we wouldn't be doing this stuff. Don't do this at home, but we want to capture these cool angles. And uh, so we're gonna push the limits of both our flying skills and uh, hopefully the airframe, but not so far <laughs> that we, you know, fail on launch. Nose heavy is way better to have than tail heavy. And what we have here is a potentially tail heavy plane. And another thing I noticed too, is I noticed some extra globulations of blue on here from, uh, <laughs> I'm guessing from the repairs from Noah's golf cart arrest landing. <laughs> a little bit of repairs, huh? It was the golf cart's fault, you know? Yeah. So Stefan, you're gonna launch me, brother. Um, okay. I'm gonna launch Noah, make sure he's good because that's the sketchiest in my opinion <laughs> too. This one seems to be okay. Okay. Um, when you launch me, just cradle it by the back and underneath the bottom, I'll go to full throttle and just launch me like at a 20 degree up. 20 degree up? Okay. Yep. And then uh, and hopefully she'll just, she'll just fly it nice and easy. The wind shifted, it's now a crosswind. So just okay. angle me just a little bit towards that tree right there. Towards that, that yeah. crackly tree? Yeah. Got it. And then that way we can kind of 
Good air speed to go. Sweet. Last thing you ever want to do is have a tail heavy airplane in a stall attitude with a crosswind. Bad thing. <laughs> we got all three, guys. All three we got all three. Love it. Are right, you ready? I'm ready. All right, so we actually gave Noah the choice on which one he wanted to fly. I thought for sure that he was going to pick the Corsair. But you want to stay with the one that you built completely. Huh? Exactly, yeah. 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 I so, built it so, you know, I kind of have gonna, a bond with it. He's going to be flying the Zero. I'm going to be flying the Corsair. I'll be in the blue streamer. He'll be in the red streamer. And our goal is to cut it and not crash. <laughs> yeah. as simple as that get it it sounds simple yeah. it sounds simple if you have a short streamer you lose if you crash you, you definitely lose, <laughs> you definitely lose. So, so it's definitely possible for both of you but, guys to lose today but you guys win <laughs> <laughs> yes are right, you ready you ready, you ready? This? yeah i'm ready no i'm all gonna right. launch you first i got my my stuff all set there okay. and then stefan i'll help get you once he's good i'll help get you uh oriented it. once you fly up now get high and then I'll stand next to you. You can make sure your goggles are performing good. Okay. And then we'll go from there. Uh, all let's right, do this. All right, boys. Good luck, everybody. Go. Oh, oh, boy. Make it a simple complicated. Hey. So, you know what? I put down trimming compared to last time. Remember how she pitched up hard? Yeah. So just be ready for that, okay? Okay. All righty. Guys ready? Go. ready? Good luck. Here we go. How's it feel, Noah? Woo, you can feel it, but it's it's... Is it manageable? It's manageable. Oh, easy, awesome, easy. Girl. Looks great. Is it, do you want to trim down or? No, she's just a little pinchy. All right, do you want to try? I'll try this other dual rate I set up for you. Try that. Nope, okay, good. Good? No. Nope. You good? Yep. So that means I have the edge. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, uh, Corsair time. Yeah, we got to get right. Noah's goggles or glasses off. No, I'm going to fly this for you. Put your glasses okay. on. Yep. Yeah, feel that out. Oh yeah, she is definitely tail heavy. Yeah. Okay, I'm good. Woo! Yeah, you. Woo! You good? Yeah, we're good. All right, buddy. <laughs> She's yours. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take off without my glasses. Stefan, are you good, bud? I'm good, sir. Can you launch me? I'm ready to launch you. It looks amazing up there. Yeah, though. it looks can really cool. Can I spin that? Can I pull this up on her onto her prop? Yeah, just roll it up to the nose slowly. Roll it up to the nose slowly to the prop. All right. All right, so Stefan has a particular track record with launching big airplanes. Particular is a good way to say it. Pressure's on stuff. Oh, man, whoa. <laughs> the bottom is soft, right? Yeah. All right. All right, so I'm trying to figure out the best way to hold it. A little arms in a big plane. Because <laughs> hey, the whole bottom thing is, is rubbery. You're OK. All right, you ready, bud? Yep. <laughs> yes! Woo! That sounded like a real Corsair. Yeah, got him. Touch nice. metal, but we're in the air! Alright, let's go! Get guys. on! Alright, but where is my friend, my son, yeah, my loved going. one, Noah? Last time I saw him, he was super high, so Noah, if you're up there, come down. I gotta find I'm you guys. Down. Do you see me, Noah? Uh, I'm kind of over by... He's going over the crawler, me. towards the crawler course. That's the Corsair thing. looks amazing. <laughs> it, it flies amazing. It's, they're both definitely tail heavy, but we can manage this. It's so uh, worth it. Okay, where are you? Alright, I'm heading back towards ready, mate, kiddo. Raymond? Just, I think you're way above me, bud. Yeah, I'm. Lose some altitude. Oh, okay. I you see you. I see you. All right, you, it sounds like you get the drop on me then. Oh, here I come. Once you're behind me, say game on. Game on. Game on? Oh, All right, here we go. Zero's oh, look at see it. that. <laughs> what a sight. I feel like I'm back in time right now. See, you know, this. I'm going to throw some stuff. Oh. At, I've, I've flown this course area before, so I'm going to throw some stuff at my son here and try to get the upper edge. Dead. That streamer looks tempting. Oh, this I'm, is crazy. I'm shooting the gap, son. Oh, I'm right beside you. Oh, no. Oh, I'm above you. So there's a common area that we love, that I love getting the vantage point of, and that's called shooting the tower. That's my dear friend, the original founder. That's Diane's house. I'm going to shoot the gap right now. Oh, you're shooting the gap? Yeah, well, I want to evade you, man. You're going right into Where it. Where are you? Are you still I'm, behind me? I'm still behind uh -oh, you. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Noah oh. lost his whole streamer. Oh, no. Yeah, I win, I win! <laughs> he win! Oh, I'm Just coming me. down on you, Dad. You coming on? Are you passing me? Huh? I'm passing you. Oh, here in a... Yes! Are you above me? Awesome. I'm above you. Oh! 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 Oh!
Well, I know you wanted to win, but not like that. <laughs> what just happened there? Oh. Did I pull so, up into you or did you push uh, down into me? You, well, pretty much, I started giving it throttle. It goose down, you goosed up. I tried going up. It did not like that. I pulled on camera, dude. Oh, it was great. Am I? I had this ominous feeling when he's like, I'm right behind you. I'm like, I feel his presence, but I couldn't see him. I, I was looking at the shadows and there was just one dot. And I'm like, this isn't good, but I had to pull up because the trees were coming up. Oh. And all of a sudden, I see. Tan wing, I see my wing, and then the whole thing turns sideways. And I thought you were stuck to me, but I was still flying. I'm like, you were oh, stuck together you are, for you are, a couple I, seconds. <laughs> I, pretty much, I tried pulling up. You pulled up sharper, and I couldn't. I couldn't climb out. I was giving it all shot. That's crazy. So the mighty Corsair, as always, defeats the Zero because it's, the Zero was just built out of wood. The Corsair was built out of America. So. Um, I think I won. I, I would have to. Well, you well, land. We gotta safely. go assess. Let's go assess. Yeah, let's go assess. No, no doubt. Oh, oh my. Oh. <laughs> oh, the poor zero. Oh my goodness. Oh my. All right, I'm claiming I won. Oh my gosh. It hit so hard it actually ejected your FPV battery uh, <laughs> from it. That is pretty awesome, man. Holy crap. That. That went from a giant plane to uh, not so much a plane. Here's a, there's a moral of the story. Don't mess with your dad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's so, go check the course right. there. I think this is safe to say it's uh, we're not, we're, total. We're not doing a take two. The battery came all the way Wait, to the Where's nose. the motor? It might be in the Corsair. <laughs> oh, my. Oh. So here's the crazy thing. I can't wait to see what this looks like because I couldn't believe I was still flying. At first, I thought you were still tangled with me, but it was still flying. And then we did like a, a couple laps around, but I'm getting closer and closer to this airplane right now. It looks like a mess. I don't know how in the world this thing was still controllable. What in the world? <laughs> look at, look look at the it, carnage look. it did. So this is the angle I was flying at right here on there and it was really messed with me because this was laying down and I had a whole weird angle and I thought I was flying straight up for a while. I cannot believe this is this is a testimony to how amazing this airframe is. I had this rudder, this stuff, and she still flew with a prop in it. Look at that look what you did. Look, 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 look at <laughs> this is why we can't have a little things, bit man. of blue on it. <laughs> Talk about a proud papa moment. I'm flying there, and, and part of me is like wanting to do the combat, and the other part's like, I'm flying with my kid, and we're doing FPV combat, and this is so cool. We have big monsters airplanes. Wop! <laughs> you know? <laughs> Look at how long your streamer is. Yeah, of course, of course, oh, yeah. they're definitely yeah. one. Look at that streamer. And you safely landed it. Yeah, we, we brought her home. I tell you, if the real Corsair flies like this plane, it is amazing the bad things you can do to this plane and still have stability. What a thrill. No, I'm sorry. I know you put a lot of heart into that, but... Uh, no, it's, it's good. It's, it's a foam board airplane. You can always pull a second yeah, one. Three days later, right? Yeah. All right. Well, friends, we have a motor to find. We have uh, pieces to pick up. I don't know where we're going to go from this, but I tell you where you guys can go. If you want to build a Corsair or a Mini Zero, we have those now available for pre-order. Go ahead and check out the link below. Click on that. It's an awesome build, awesome flyer, and it definitely doesn't take three days. All right, we'll see you next time. See you.